Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Stoneblock 2 with Lone Debater 7. And today, we're going to be taking a look at getting our energy condenser built. So if we take a look at the recipe, uh, we built the Fusion Crafting Wyvern tier last time, but we need to get an alchemical chest. Now these, pretty straightforward. You need one diamond lattice, diamond chest, some dark steel, chilled stone. We have everything except for the covalence dust. And these require the empowerer. So I've got the blocks that we're going to need to do it and went ahead and set up the empower. Um, so these are being powered wirelessly with the uh, wireless power transfer nodes. Um, seems to work fairly good, then you don't have to run a bunch of cables all over the world. Um, then the recipe for the low conveyance dust, you throw in four pieces of redstone like so. And I believe it's double compressed. Let's just double check. So. We need four redstone and one double compressed cobblestone. Uh, not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it needs to be on the display stand or on the empower. Uh, does this need power too? Is that maybe what it is? I only put power on the display stand, so let's see. Maybe the uh, actual empower block needs needs some power. Could be go got that saved run over to our energy transfer node put this guy inside and we'll see if if that was what the issue was the craft will probably be done by the time we get back over so put that in run on over let's see so what's going on here because normally um just look at this, so... Uh, empower is what I want to learn about. I don't care about this. I don't care about the recipes. Mid-tier block. Oh, it needs to be two apart, not one. Okay. Well, that would, that would be what the issue is. So we're going to have to redo the uh, GPS coordinates as well. So you actually leave two blocks of space in between. So like this. We'll just put our redstone back on so it's good to go. And let's go grab those GPS markers. I don't think we actually need the fifth one either. So we will grab these out real quick. Four and five. Cool. And I'm just going to clear one because we don't need it, I don't believe. And let's go get these re set up so with these if you try to right click the marker it'll put it on the stand so just bear that in mind oh it looks like it did the craft so that's nice cool grab our low conveyance dust the next one takes a base essence ingot in the center and four redstone again so just plonk those in and the reason why it probably finished is because these display stands hold their power so not a big deal we will see it actually looks like we're probably going to have enough to do all of it so i might just clear these guys out because you don't use the empower all that often or at least i don't seem to so after we finish this we'll just break it down and call it good four one two three, four, pull that off, throw on our infused diamond, and that will get us a third type of covalence dust. Cool. So there we go. We got our covalence dust that we needed. Um, I'm just going to pick these guys back up, and we should be ready to go over to the computer and get this crafted. So... The other stuff we're going to need is dark matter, which that's pretty easy to make, all things considered. And just clear out my inventory a little bit, get all this crap out of here. Cool. Perfect. So let's build our alchemical chest. Awesome. We got one. I'm going to build a second one just so we've got it for later. And then for the energy condenser, we need four dark matter and four red matter. Each red matter takes three dark matter. So we need 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dark matter. So if we type in dark matter, um, 
we should be able to build it. It's just diamonds with Adernalis fuel. Adernalis is basically the coal chain uh, with the philosopher stone, so make eight stacks of that. Um, plus two, and then that should give us thirty-two. Yeah, that might that might be enough. Um, it probably isn't actually. We only need 16 to begin with. We'll make 17 just to be on the safe side. Yeah, we need more Aeternalis. That's fine. Um, all right, so let's see Philosopher's Stone and Coal, which we've got a fair amount of coal. Like, I think we're going to be okay. Let's let's start with that and see if that gives us enough. Um, cool. And then we also need some Aeternalis to build the uh, red matter. So we need a quite a bit of this. Uh, even that probably isn't enough. Um, matter. Let's actually pin this because we're going to be using it for a bit. So we got 12. We still need a little bit more. Um, so let's see if we've got enough coal. Um, is going to be the big question on that. I mean, we like like I say, we've got quite a bit of coal, but not infinite. So oh, we'll do it like that. Okay. So we can build another 16, something like that. Four. So we got four more. All right, so we're going to need to get more coal, but that's okay. You can actually make a coal chicken with the log and the flint. So I'm probably just going to do that and put it in one of our drawers so we have enough coal to build the fuel that we need. Um, so while I'm over getting some more coal real fast, um, I'll just go ahead and cut that out and then we'll come back once we're ready to finish crafting the. Uh, which we call it the energy condenser. So we'll see you in a couple minutes here. Alrighty, guys. So I went and gathered up some more coal. Uh, I just went and sieved some compressed gravel real quick so we could do it. But we've got four red matter, four dark matter, crystal chest, dirt chest 9000, and the alchemical chest so we can build our energy condenser. Dirt chest is just dirt surrounding the chest. The crystal chest, you just take a diamond chest, surround it with glass. Pretty easy to do. The red matter, six Aeternalis with three dark matter, and you're good to go. So let's get this all set up. Uh, we need these split into fours. We'll throw four dark matters. And then we'll put the dirt chest, put a crystal chest, and then we need four red matters. Cool. So that's how you set up the recipe. Hit start on the fusion crafting. It'll take its time to charge up then we're going to acceleration wand it and that will be the energy condenser so i'm really excited about getting this item um because we'll effectively be able to duplicate stuff so i don't have to worry about getting nether stars anymore or anything i just need to have some emcable blocks which the emerald chicken that i've got over there uh emeralds are a great emcable block so let's go ahead and just place i think we'll place it right here so the way this guy works um, just in case you haven't played before. If we take like a dark matter and let's grab some emeralds, a couple stacks. Uh, you take the item you want to duplicate and click it into this slot up here. It'll have this little bar and an open inventory. Any item you put in there that's not dark matter in this instance will be converted to the EMC value and make more dark matter. So just like that we've got 15 dark matter. Um, just by taking a couple stacks of emeralds and you can do that with literally any item that's got EMC in the in the game so making this transmutation table is going to be a lot easier because some of this stuff like all of it has EMC values right so that's pretty easy um, but it's kind of difficult to craft like energy condenser not the easiest thing in the world to craft um, al alchemical chests don't ha really that is dumb. Okay. So those we actually have to create by hand. Um, 
I do need a second energy condenser so we can make more. Do I have any more red matter? I don't. So let's make some red matter. If we've got... If we can find the recipe, that is. Ugh, come on. Really? Sometimes the JEI thing is a little bit whack, uh, but that's okay. It works really well most of the time, uh, I will say. So we'll take this and we'll take some Aeternalis because I want to have this stuff available to me. So let's grab up oh, lag spike. Come on. Doesn't like my Iki. All right. Cool. Get four. And I'm going to do the Aeternalis fuel first. So awesome. Just convert some of this. I think a stack of emeralds will give you two stacks of this fuel, which is pretty good. Like, I, I'm content with that. Then we're going to switch over to red matter. Just make some red matter real fast. So this speeds things up a lot because you don't have to go through all the crafting recipes. There's the four red matter we need already. So pretty, pretty easy. We've got a couple extra. Awesome. Uh, then the other thing we need is dark matter. So we only need four of those. I need another chest. So, iron chest. Whoops. Just make a few of these, I guess. A few of each type. Diamond chest. A couple. And it's crystal chest for the condenser, so... I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate a couple of these chests as well, just because I feel like that might be a good item to have on demand. So there we are. We get our one crystal chest. And then I need a dirt chest, so easy enough. Take one of those. And there's probably some EMC left in here. We'll just go ahead and convert it into dirt chest 9000, so we've got a shit ton of them. I don't think they're really useful for anything necessarily outside of like crafting recipes, but that is a okay. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys placed. We'll make a second energy condenser and call it good because now once we have this second one built, I th I think that has an EMC value. I'm hoping that it does. Because since we've got a condenser and a second condenser, we can duplicate it, is what I'm hoping. Um, if not, it's alright, we'll want this back up so we can put it into the recipe to build the tablet. Uh, but here we are, get that done. So this one doesn't have an EMC value either. That is really strange. Normally it does, but alright, that's fine. So... Whatever, we've got our second condenser, so that's good. We got part of the recipe anyway. Uh, we also need to make these antimatter relays, which they're pretty easy. Um, it's just obsidian, glass, and diamonds, and then obsidian, glass, and dark matter. On the collector, same thing. Instead of obsidian, you use glowstone. Uh, Quibic cluster should be pretty easy. Make like 16 of them, should be enough. We need to make more alchemical chests, so we need just basic diamond chests for that. Cool. Let's make some of those. And grab some emeralds. So this is where having these chickens set up is super useful, because I can just come in, drop a stack of emeralds like it's nothing, and get a shit ton of items. So good it, like it's a good thing to have extra of everything so there's the four alchemical chests we need to make night slime which i kind of want to make the chicken for it so i need manulium which i don't have so this is actually quite a bit how do you make night slime i for it's an alloy that you can make in the tinker smeltery as, as well so you don't have to do it this way, so alloying takes iron, purple slime, and seared stone. Purple slime might be interesting. Uh, do I have any 
purple stuff. So I've got a slime sapling and a slimy dirt, so we can use that to make the purple slime. Uh, do I have another hopping bonsai pot? Doesn't look like it. Okay, can I build one? No, so I need clay. Just take a little bit. Smelt it into some bricks. And we're gonna just put this in a hopping bonsai pot because might as well. Like, not... I, I don't know why you wouldn't, I guess. Because you actually... Like, having a source of slime would be good anyway. So, drawer. We're gonna make one of these. Cool. And we'll just set this up <clears throat> right over here. So, you take your bonsai pot. Now, slime saplings have to grow on slimy dirt. So, I'm gonna just use the purple one for this set. And I think... Oh, it's because this torch is there. Alright, so we can speed this up with the acceleration wand. To quickly grow up some purple slime. And yeah, we've got seven already. Let's just grab our key. I don't care about expanding the storage on that, really. We won't need that much. But there we go, we've got slime automated now, pretty much. So we'll take these eight balls... Uh, I need some iron, and I needed stone. You can just smelt this to get seared stone. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these alloys made up so we can get the rest of the items, and then next time we're going to go ahead and build the transmutation tablet from Project E. But if you enjoyed the episode today, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always, and until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7 and we will see ya.